Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slate here. Back with another unboxing. Actually, today we have two, we have two, we have two unboxings. Uh, actually, it's an unbagging and an unboxing. Got these special from the good folks over at Nike. So I definitely wanna give you a look because one of them actually already released and then one of them releases later this week. And a lot of people are really excited about it. I'm actually excited that these actually showed up on my table. So without further ado, let's make this quick and get this started. Let's start with this pair. Uh, first of all, instead of a box, they sent them in this shoe bag. So big shout out to Nike for putting them in the shoe bag. Really like the look of this. Has a little zipper here in the front with a couple of pockets. And it's a nice quality bag. This is like, I would say like a rip stop nylon. So it's kind of thin. It's obviously water resistant. So if the water hits it, it doesn't get messed up too bad. And then it has like this plastic, like rubber feeling here to give it a little bit of grip and then a nice handle right there. But enough about the bag. Let's get into the bag. And here we go. Yes. So for those of you that are golf aficionados or that enjoy the sport of golf, as much as I do. And if you're following this channel, you know that I enjoy golf. Uh, this is the Air Max 97 G, which stands for golf. It's a version of the Air Max 97 with integrated traction here on the bottom. And as you can see, it has a pretty cool outsole going on. So that one says love. And then this one says peace. So you have peace and love or love and peace. I don't know which one it's supposed to be. Anyway, the reason that these look like this and they have this whole tie dye effect here on the upper is because this week is the PGA Championship, which is happening in San Francisco. And if you know anything about San Francisco, you know that there was a huge hippie moment there, hippie movement there in the 60s and 70s and tie dye was obviously a big part of that. And the funny thing about that is when I see these, this makes me think about the Grateful Dead, which we just did the Nike SV Dunk unboxing of the Grateful Dead bears or the, the dancing or the marching bears, sorry, not dancing bears, marching bears. Don't mess that up, they're the marching bears. And so when I see this, it makes me think like Nike had a whole thing going on. Like they did the SB Dunks that had the, uh, the Grateful Dead, obviously they're from the Bay Area and they have that whole hippie vibe that's kind of where they started. And then they have the hippie vibe going on with these, which is the whole golf run all kind of connected to San Francisco. I think it's cool. Anyway, so the PGA Championship is this weekend. And so they have these with this very special tie dye look on them. Uh, big shout out, first of all, to Christian Tresser. He's the one who designed the Air Max 97 and they were inspired by water droplets. So you know when the water drops into the water and it has those ripples going out, that's what these lines represent. So that water droplet. So these are the waves basically of the water flowing or the waves expanding, I guess, from the droplet. I'm not sure what the correct term is, but that's where the initial design came from. And you see you have that full and Air Max unit, and then you have the integrated traction, and it's actually really thick and hard. Not like, I wouldn't say it's rock hard, but it's definitely has some give to it. Um, I would say it's it's, it's a very, it's very, very nice. I, I have no complaints about it. Rolls up here around the toe to give you a little bit of protection. And as far as the materials go, they've used like a, almost like a canvas material, which I do have a little bit of concern about because I'm worried that if that gets dirt or mud onto it, that that's gonna stick into that canvas material. But maybe they put something over it as a little more protection so that it doesn't stick into the fabric, I'll definitely have to try and get this wet. Generally, they try and make these water repellent, so if water hits them, so it'll just kind of bounce off. It doesn't soak right into the material, but this feels almost like a canvas sort of material. So I, that's my only concern with these, is that if you do play with these um, and you do have to get into the rough or you do have to get into a little bit of dirt, that these will get dirty pretty quickly. And you know how dirt gets into canvas and like jean material, how it'll kind of stick into there. So I feel like it'll stick in here. Again, not sure completely, but that's what this liner around here at the bottom is. And I'm worried about that. The rest of it here is, is just mesh, so it's breathable. So this here canvas, but then the upper upper rings, I'm going to call them, are, are a mesh to keep the shoe breathable. And then you have like the leather in between. So all the white pieces are leather, then you have mesh, and then you have canvas. And the last little tidbit here is they actually dressed them up a little bit. 
with a little bit of a nice touch of tie dye on the tongue there on the inside. So that's cool. And then it has the Nike golf logo. It's a Nike ball. And then it has a heart logo. But then you also get custom insoles, which look really nice as well. And these aren't, they aren't super thick. They're just your regular insoles, but they have that yellow, greenish yellow there. And they have Nike golf there on the heel as a nice touch to them. So very nice, all around, very nice. These actually released already. They released earlier this week. Uh, they were on uh, Nike.com. So if you wanna get yourself a pair of these, I believe there are some left, but generally when Nike Golf does these like lifestyle versions of shoes, they actually sell out pretty quickly. So uh, if you do wanna get a pair, make sure you jump on it right now um, because I don't know if they're gonna be any of these available or they will be available very long. All right, let's get to the next pair. So the next pair, is uh, something that I'm actually really, really excited about. So Jordan Brand has been doing their golf shoes and for this version, for the PGA Championship, we have the Air Jordan 5 Low. Yes, and this one is all, I, I don't wanna say it's a professional golf shoe, but they've done some things to it to give it a more professional feel. Let's, let's put it that way. Uh, first of all, these have the same peace and love at the bottom, which I really love. Just a really nice detail there. But the these have actual spikes. So these don't have the integrated traction where you can wear these off of the course. Like the 97s, you can wear those off the course and nobody will know the difference. With these, they have the actual cleats or spikes in the shoe. And so you can't really wear these outside of the golf course, unfortunately, because it would be kind of nice because these are actually really dope and have a really nice look to them. So the other thing that they did with these to kind of make them golf for sure is they traded out the lace debris. So usually they have these race debris that you get on the Jordan 5, but they actually switched it out and put in these Jordan ball marker lace debris. So it's all, it's very similar to these, but it's actual ball markers and these actually come out and there's a magnet there to keep it locked in. So if you wanna mark your ball when you're on the green, that you can use these, which is very, very cool. Nice little touch there uh, for the golf nerds out there, golf nerds like me that need that kind of stuff or use those things. It's a nice little touch there. So uh, this design, obviously, you know, was created by Tinker Hatfield for Michael Jordan. And just a quick fun fact, I believe, I'm, I'm not, okay, I'm gonna say fun fact, but I'm not 100% sure, but the first, Air Jordan 5 Low, I believe it came out in 2006. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's when the first one came out, 2006. Uh, as far as far as I know, the retail, retail, let's say retail version came out in 2006. I know they retroed in 2000, but I think the lows came out in 2006. So like the other ones you see, you have the tie dye effect here in the netting here on the side. You have it on the teeth here. The shoe was inspired by World War II fighter planes. And that's where you get the teeth there from those planes that had the teeth on the front of the plane. You have a little little hit of tie-dye right there, which is really nice. There's a little small touch there. And then you have the traditional airbag there, obviously. And I always feel like the three, four, and five had a very similar midsole with the air unit there. They always look so similar to me. It's like they, it's like Tinker did them in threes. He did three, four, five, six, seven, eight, kind of thing like that. Anyway, that's just my thought, but anyway. Uh, more details you see on the inside, they have that tie-dye print again, so you get that. You have white leather on the upper, obviously. You want it to be water repellent. You want something that the water is not going to stick to it. So having this in leather is a very nice touch because you can really clean that off super easy and you don't have to worry about that getting dirty. Uh, the Jumpman here is in this like light blue. Let me see if they have an official color for that or do they just call it multicolor. Uh, Summit white, lemon, black. Yeah, they don't, they don't give it an official color, but it's almost a, it's like a grayish blue almost color. It's not gray and it's not blue. It's somewhere in between. I'm not sure what the exact color is, but that stitching is repeated here on the heel and it's also there on the tongue. Now, generally the tongue of these are reflective, but I don't think that's happening with this one. It's just the regular leather that they're using to kind of protect everything, uh, which makes sense because again, when you play golf, generally the 
the grass is wet and sometimes your feet get wet and so you wanna protect that from the wet. Um, and then these have the same insoles with the Nike Golf there. And then on the back, you have the Air Jordan obviously flipped upside down and that's on both of them, the same thing. So you have that there. So yeah, just wanna give you guys a quick look at these. Um, these are going to be $220 and they release on the 7th. Um, if you wanna grab yourself a pair of these, I imagine these are going to fly pretty fast. Generally, the Jordan golf shoes do go pretty quickly. And again, these released already. So if you wanna get yourself a pair of these, uh, my thought is that these are probably going to be gone um, already. But again, you can check on nike.com if you wanna try and get yourself a pair. Anyway, so with that being said, as always guys, I appreciate you. Make sure you like, favorite, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And as always, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.